Hello students, welcome to the English Literature class. In today's class, we have the lesson, his first flight. This is taken from your literature book, First Flight, Chapter 3, Part 1. It is a beautiful story about a young seagull. So, this lesson, this story is written by Liam O. Claverty. It's a famous Irish author. Students, you know, seagull, seagull is a seabird. It lives on the seashore, on the stones, on the ridges, on the caves made by stone and uh, its main food is fish. So, in this story, we have a family of seagulls. A family of seagulls in which there are parents, father and mother, two brothers of this seagull, two brothers and one sister and they live on a ledge. Ledge, as I said, is a flat cave type place which is safe from the rain and heat along the seashore. In this family, these four young seagulls are very young. However, when they reached certain stage, they began to fly. The parents taught them how to fly and they were very happy to fly with their parents. However, we find in the story this young seagull who is very afraid of flying. He is not ready to come out of the ledge and fly like his siblings, his two brothers and one sister. Now, because of fear, this young seagull is not going out of the ledge. So his parents, his siblings were worried. They were worried because if he cannot fly, then he will die of hunger. How long will his parents and family members help him? So they encouraged him to fly. They called him, come on, fly. When he was not ready to fly, they were annoyed with him. So they met him. They got angry with him. So they began ignoring him. And they upbraided him, upbraided him, they scolded him. They made fun of him. How coward he was. And so, in order to teach him, they took up a half step and that half step was that they left him. They left him for 24 hours. They did not come back to him. They, he was alone, he was hungry on the ledge. Then, finding him to be very hungry, lonely, at the same time, not showing that he was hungry, he was lonely, he pretended to be relaxed. He pretended to be sleepy, keep lifting his one leg and uh, hiding his head into his wings. He tried to show that he was all right. Then he tries to fly, but due to fear, he stops again. So he is still on the ledge. Meanwhile, his parents his siblings, his brothers and sister were enjoying. He watched them catching fish, tearing them, eating them, enjoying, singing. And their way of singing is making sounds like ga ga ga, ga ga la. That is the sound made by seagulls. And so he watched them relaxing on the plateau. This is plateau. Plato, Plato, this is 
see that and he saw them his brothers and sisters and parents are relaxing tearing the fish however we know that mothers are very very affectionate for all the creatures so here also we find the mother is worried about him so mother is playing a crucial role now in order to help him out so she catches a fish with her beams and she comes towards him she gets very happy thinking that the mother is coming with a fish and she would uh, give him but no she did not give him she came with a piece of fish into the beach she flew around him at certain distance so that he cannot start snatch the fish from her beak she hovered over him and she called him to come and get the fish meanwhile the young seagull was hungry he is not able to master his courage then madam with fear madam with hunger and loneliness he dived into the air in order to snatch the fish from his mother's beak but what happens he did not get the fish just he began falling down into the air towards the surface of the sea of the ocean then he stumbled then somehow he stretched out his wings and then he began flying then he flying began flying straight over the ocean then slowly his legs stretched then landed on the water then he found his legs were sinking then he was again terrified thinking that he was going to sink then he found his breast his chest was touching the water he felt the coldness of the water then he began floating he did not sink any more anymore then he was happy he was convinced that he is not going to sink he is not going to get drowned so all his fear and danger was over with it so all his family members his brothers and sister were very happy they congratulated him they they cheered him and they helped him with the fish and with the food and they they played with him they enjoyed with him and that's the way the young seagull learned how to fly so this is his first flight so students in this story we learned that this seagull through this seagull it is the message for us also that fear is part of our life so we cannot get away with the fear it will come and what we have to do we have to face the fear unless we face the fear that overcome we cannot proceed in our life we cannot achieve any thing greater so once we face the fear once we overcome the fear then we get success and we are happy and we are very successful persons in our life so this is the story students i hope you got a clear concept and clear uh, meaning of this lesson this past flight for today that's all students thank you